Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld. Yesterday, we had some real questionable stuff happen in the form of one of our colony founder, poor old up Sophia, gave up and left because he was tired. So he decided, rather than going back to the bedroom with his loving wife, uh, that he would rather live out in the wilderness and be tired out there instead because he's an absolute lunatic. Anyway... More importantly, Sharamus is back, though, so we can all have a round of applause there. We do have a, a ritual going on at Devil's Pit. Um, go back in. I need to know if it's some sort of cult. Or whatever it is, I think it's better to let... Obviously, we're going to pursue the <laughs> the human sacrifice at the Devil's... Uh, uh, whatever the, the colony is called, the Devil's Doorbell. Or whatever. Well, I don't know. Anyway... One thing I've got to I've got to issue a correction on is that the weapons from and as you can probably see as well, the weapons from the squadrons you call in call in with the settlements mod do disappear. The only exception to that is the charge minigun we got from the orcs the first time because that was not yet that that feature wasn't yet implemented or it might have been bugged out or something like that uh, the first time around. But now I can confirm that as you can see with the kobolds, all their weapons have disappeared. You don't get to keep the technology from the people that fall into your base, so don't worry about that being particularly overpowered. Obviously, you don't get to call in death squads, which is really fun, um, but I'm going to still try and, try and keep some difficulty for us here and not just call in all death squads in response to everything. I do want to experiment it with it some more, though, towards the end game a little bit more. Um, like the Kobold, the, top, the Kobold Kamikaze squad, you've got to admit, even if it was very overpowered, it was absolutely incredible. So I definitely want to do more of that in the future. For the time being, though, today, we build Sharamus, we finish off our neural networks. I was thinking, are there any other researchers that we really need at this point in the game? Um, we've got drug production. I mean, it was just psychoid leaves we needed for the for the zoom, though, wasn't it? We didn't actually need anything else particularly. Um, yeah, and that one was hyper powerful, wasn't it? Uh, mining yield. Oh, zoom gives ten quality medical. T uh, yeah, shooting sight. Realistically, we should give one of those to. Absolutely everybody, because it's that powerful. It's plus four shooting accuracy and plus ten percent sight across the board. That's absolutely insane. Um, flashlight, where does that go? Uh, I know I checked these the other day, but I can't remember off the top of my head here. Um, replacement of flashlight to mounted on the ear side. Oh, right, right. Of course, we've already made some of those, haven't we? Um, although I thought they were or something else in hindsight. Yeah, to be honest, making one of these for all of our colonists would be incredible. And then of course the uh, the lion heart as well is incredibly good. We need a long sword for it. I have no idea why. That's fine. Um, but yeah, on, honestly, two of those for everybody would be incredible. Obviously, not two hearts, but it's just such a powerful upgrade. Same applies really to the arms and the legs. It depends how consistently we can, can make components. It depends how consistently we can stay on top of our of of our steel need. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and call in the Empire Sphere and get another trade caravan over here. 15 goodwill. I want to be careful that I don't obviously expend it. I guess that's also the enforced cooldown is 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 part of your goodwill there. So what do I want to go for? Um mining goods trader? I think a mining goods trader is probably a good idea. Again, an exotic goods trader could be quite cool. Particularly when we've got 25,000 kicking around. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go for an exotic goods trader and see if we can buy some unique stuff that we otherwise couldn't craft. And this might be a good way to get our tech blueprints as well. But in mind, there's a lot of really cool end game technology that we could equip to our our kobold kamikaze squadrons or our... Oh, shit. Six. Oh, wow. I don't think we've got anything that can match that quite yet. Um, or, or anything, really. Uh, I, mean, I mean, there are so many great tech that we just need to unlock for general use, let alone the the defensive squads that we call anyway. Let's go ahead and check this out very quickly. Summon in danger at level 6. I don't think we've got any summons with a military level 6, do we? Oh, we've got military level 7 in military town. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and who's under attack? The quarry in M M Monores, whatever that means. Hello. Right. Okay. Defense settlement. Send them in. Uh, I, I guess it's always best to send in the, the highest military level. Even if the other ones do can match it, I guess there's no downside to that. Unless they go on cooldown, obviously. Um, I'm not sure if that's just for dropping people in, or maybe it is for defense now. Maybe with some changes here. I need to double check that when we've actually sent it. That's quite cool, though. All right, let's go back to our settlements then. How much profit are we expecting right now? Still another 11,000. Let's spend every last penny we can on this exotic goods trader. Then everything we've got left over, I'm just going to dump into the settlements again. There was a debate about whether or not to use a nutrient paste dispenser now that we've lost both of our chefs with Upsa <laughs> leaving the colony. Um, my argument is still in favor of not using a nutrient paste dispenser quite yet because nutrient paste dispensers, though, would obviously save us a lot of time and effort. Not only give a minus four mood, but we are missing out on the mood boost we get from our regular meals. Even, like, lavish meals aside, the ingredients that we're growing right now in our farms give us still bonuses. So you can see that we're getting plus two mood from that. 
Bear in mind that even if going from this simple meal to nutrient paste, it's going to be a minus six net mood gain because we won't have any of the rare ingredients and we get the minus four. So to be honest with you, I want to stick with these simple meals, even though there's obviously a slightly increased chance now of food poisoning because we've got a robot cooking it and the robot's garbage. I was told the androids as well. The androids are the ones capable of learning, but the androids are apparently prohibitively expensive because they are basically free colonists that you get to control. They are super, super expensive. So I'm not sure how or when we want to get around to crafting those. I'm not even sure if we want to get around to crafting those, to be honest with you. So under advanced cooking, we apparently get to produce... We, we can build a roller mill, but I have no idea where we build a roller mill from, to be honest with you. I was just looking through the menus, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Roller mill. It's a big fuck-off blue thing. Art bench, butcher tables. I mean, if I see it, please, for the love of God, correct me. But I can't, for the life of me, work out where we're supposed to build this thing from. Uh, okay, production is not under there. It's probably not under storage, I would imagine. But I will double-check. I didn't check storage, I'll be honest. Um, no, because I don't think it's there. Furniture? It's not under furniture. Extra furniture. I can't see it's under extra furniture as well. Power? It's not power. It's not going to be security. Surely it might be misc that I missed. Um, your guess is as good as mine, to be honest. Uh, I can't see it at all. So yeah, uh, we've got all this advanced furniture that we can... Uh, sorry, all this advanced cooking that we can use and utilize. Bear in mind, we've got all these cool ingredients. But I don't know where the roller is to actually build the damn thing. Maybe we have to buy it? Oh, maybe we... Pro oh, there it is. Rim Cuisine. Ah, roller mill. Got it. Found it. <laughs> False alarm. You can call off the search now. Uh, okay, cool. So let's put down a roller mill. We've also got a uh, quernstone there. I assume that is the same thing but mechanical? We've got roller mill. Small electric powered grinding machine used to grant plant material. That one also grants plant material. I assume we just need a roller mill then. Let's get pork on this as soon as possible. I'm interested to see what we've been missing out on all this time. By the way, we've got 8,000 wheat. So I feel like we should probably start this sooner rather than later. Oh, look at that. So you can make sugar from sugar beets. Okay. Uh, sugar from sugar cane. Make flour from grain. Why don't we do that until we've got X? By the way, we've got the droid that can work around the clock. Why don't we do it until we've got, like, 100 sugar? Is that is that probably fine? Maybe we should do a little bit more than that. Uh, let's do it until we've got 250 sugar. How about that? And then pause when we've only got, I don't know, 80. <laughs> Purely random number there. This way we can use some of the additional meals that we've got in the stove that I basically ignore the entire playthrough. So we can, like, make candy, for example. Um... Usually eaten by the handful, by the gluttonous. How dare you? I take that personally. So we can make uh, pastries. Oh, interesting. So you need one ingredient, one processed grain. Those, I assume, give mood bonuses, things like that. And then, of course, we should really start making some uh, I think tofu there. Um, tastes like ass, according to most room worlders. I agree. Um, last time, only three days without proper refrigeration. What do we do with that, then, I wonder? Huh. Maybe it counts as a meat substitute. So we'd be able to cook lavish meals without actually... Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm also thinking maybe we're missing out on some of the recipes as well. Because like, there's nothing that requires tofu as an ingredient here. So I'm going to see if maybe... Let's put down like a cooking spot and see if there are other things that we don't have access to. Uh, no, see, that's fine. Um, I think it may, might be something to do with the fact that we're using the stuff added by... Um, we're using the stuff added by Vanilla Expanded, I think it is. So if we put down some of the, maybe one of the base game stoves, that might give us access to something new. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we could always remove the other large stove, seeing as we don't have any cooks, let alone need for two large stoves here. It's a funny little weird that there's a whole tab in Rim Cuisine for like three things. It makes me think I might have missed some research, but if you type in Rim Cuisine, this is all it brings up. And as far as I know, besides the food preservation stuff, we have everything researched in the Forester as well, but I assume that's not entirely necessary for, for food stuff. Um, yeah, I, I genuinely think that's all there is to it. Okay, um, let's get port very quickly then to finish this one off. Now, how are we looking with the plague? The whole reason we haven't started upgrading Sharamus yet is because, of course, Rose, our doctor, has the plague. Also, she's Pergenhant. Um, 80% immunity. Wouldn't it be a plot twist if it turns out Upsa is the father and that's why he left the colony? Because he didn't want the truth to come out or he felt such shame that he fled. Whoa, plot twist. Um, 80% on her, and then suffering, ironically enough, uh, 90%. So they're both going to be probably completely fine. Any new recipes? No, it's identical. Okay. Um, 
I've just made the kitchen look ugly now. Fantastic. Good, good work. Oh, good God. One thing I didn't consider is the fact that we've now got an additional 25 adult blizzarisks. So the ones that muffin lay are the charged blizzarisk eggs. The, uh, these ones are just from our male and female blizzarisks. So that is an issue. Um, we may to avoid massive lag then want to adjust it. So uh, to be honest, that's a bit pointless having that job going, given that we've only got one goat now. So I'll go ahead and remove that one. Um, but yeah, I might want to adjust this blizzarisk job. So maybe we have like five males instead of ten. Oh, I don't want to lose out on all that. I don't want to lose out on all that really cool stuff that we've got. Uh, what is that? It's updating every day. Oh, that's probably as good as it's going to get. I want to adjust some of these jobs as well, because that's what those big lag spikes are, are caused basically just by this. Um, wood logging. Do we even need to do that anymore? I didn't believe we do. I mean, besides making sure there's always a, a good level of wood, but besides that, that's basically it. Oh, what's it said? I mean, he's not bad. He does have 15 medical, and the surgery success chance is so high. Is Rose cured? Is that why she's out of bed? Or is she just kicking around for the fun of it? She has developed an immunity. Um, in that case, we're going to go ahead and put her as top priority. When he's finished this, he succeeded, thank God. Um, masterwork, what, Shari's here? We're going to take him off of doctoring at that stage. Or no, keep him on doctoring, but obviously no surgeoning. Um, herb tech, heating, black insect, chitin, jumpsuit, masterwork. Oh, huh. Um, that's really cool. What does that do? Um, lowers your minimum comfortable temperature. Okay, uh, and then maximum, oh God, the market value is a lot higher, and then you also get some max hit points. That, bear in mind, that's on the jacket itself, but a lot of people have been asking about that. Uh, that's just on the jacket, so the jacket itself has 174 hit points rather than the 150 because of that bonus. That doesn't affect the actual person, as nice as that would be. So why was I making so many advanced components in hindsight? Eight at a time. Oh, that was for, of course, yeah, the Resurrector Max. Um... And none of the people that we had were worth resurrecting, were they? So what we could do then is take it a step further. We've resurrected Charamus. Pierre is the, is the cook that we really need. To do that, we need to use the DNA Reconstructor Mech Serum. Two medicine, one Luciferium, one advanced components. We've got all of that. So let's work on this next. And then, of course, we've got the advanced components necessary for this one. It's horribly. It's, it's massive. It's horribly expensive. Um, but we should have enough. So if, as long as we... Okay, so I'm going to go back and suspend these again. After I've just bloody unsuspended them. Let's resurrect Pierre. I wasn't going to resurrect Pierre, but I feel like it's necessary. Otherwise, we're just never going to be able to get lavish meals again. And that's too much mood. Like I said, with the lavish meals giving 14 base, with the rare ingredients going as well, we're looking at anywhere between 16 to 20 mood per meal. That's fantastic. That's insane. And it's all possible thanks to all these crazy ingredients that we're growing. And that's all possible thanks to the nuclear power, which in turn is allowing us to power these crazy things we researched. It's all coming together. And it'd be a real shame to lose it at the end here because our chef walked away. So I want to I wanna, I wanna recapitalize on that. Let's get um, Edward Crosby, who's currently making jumpsuits. No, oh, thank you. Uh, need material. What the fuck are you talking about? Need material. What materials are we lacking? Two medicine, one Lucifer, and one advanced component. Oh, I bet Rose is operating on Sharamus and has the medicine reserved. Got it. Uh, it's almost certainly the case, isn't it? Rose, Rose, Rose is something heal root. What the fuck are you talking about? What am I missing then? DNA, Rose, okay, forbid that then. Um, DNA reconstructor mech. Two medicine, one Luciferium, one advanced component. Where's the Luciferium? There's the Luciferium. So we've got 34 Luciferium. Nine medicine, <laughs> 12 of arts component, need material. I'm going to disagree with you there, Chief. Someone must have something reserved. Oh, it was, it was Delta. Got it. Uh, nope, someone's still... Okay. Give it a minute. Eventually, it'll fucking wake up. Oh, Delta's already doing it. Oh, I wish it would tell me that. Rather than saying need material, it, I wish it said something like, for example, hey, Delta's already working on this, you moron. You don't need to keep clicking around. Obviously, it's not entirely my fault. Perfect, done it. That was fast. Um, and let's go ahead and... Unforbid that one, because I think, yeah, we've got just enough ingredients to also make that possible as well. Um, please, please work on that first. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Stop. Uh, Delta, what are you doing? Making, oh, making resources. She's already on it. Fair enough. This is a high price to pay for, think of all that steel we've thrown away there. This is a high price to pay for a cook, but it's a necessary price. 100 steel, so it's like 125 steel right there. That's fucking expensive. Don't do the maths on that. Okay. So, Pierre, my good friend. It's been a long time. You never thought you were going to see the light of day again. He's got his own armor too, so it's, it's definitely worth bringing him back. Delta, you were the one who crafted this. You can administer it, just in case it goes horribly wrong and we end up with a Franken goblin. Lit ritual. Okay, here we are. 
Um, after not reporting back, a search for the investigator was con conducted. He was found dead. His body was stripped, his ca chest cavity split, and his skin... Skin carved with runic symbols. Apparently breathing is impossible. The group, whoever they were, were not seen again. Dread falls upon us all. Coincidentally enough, this week's harvest seems to have spoiled. Oh. Well, that doesn't matter too much. Minus two happiness a day is massive, though. Fucking hell. Good God. Is there anything I can do to stop that from... Ticking down to nothing? Uh... They're happy. They are not. Why are you guys so unhappy? What? I don't... Ah! Um, that's just giving tithe modifier. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. That's just giving tithe. Oh, it gives 5% base tax. Why? Whatever. We can afford to pay a lot of it to keep them happy. Entertainment center? F five half minutes a day. Yeah, give them that. Fuck it. Shut up. Be happy. Right, what else we got here? Uh, they're fine. They are about to start being unhappy. Ooh, okay. Come on then. Get rid of it. Swap it out for the adult entertainment center. Is there anything better than the adult entertainment center, I wonder? Um... Probably not, from what I can tell. Sure, here you are. There's one of those. Uh, so the core is the really unhappy one. Military town is fine. Safety's Creek is also 7%. Why? What have I done wrong? Um, Safety's Creek is our backup military base. So I'm going to swap out the training yard here for the adult happiness center, which is name pending. Man, that's a shame. I don't know. I don't know why their happiness is has fallen so far. I guess it is just the random event. Probably that what is part of it is where I skip forward the year or so just to let the enemy bases build up and a load of events affected them and drop their happiness right right down. That's probably something to do with it. But again, we'll we'll chalk that up as the cost of doing business, huh? Pierre, get exhumed, my boy. Uh, how's he looking? Uh, positively rotting. Brilliant. Okay, let's get that eated. Let's get that eated. Let's go ahead and forbid that one, and then we say use. Thank you. Use on Pierre. Good luck. Return to me, young Pierre. Now, bear in mind, this is just gonna... This won't resurrect him. This will just rebuild him. So he's capable of being resurrected. His eyes have gained color. His skin's gained a bit of color there. Now, we use this on him. There is still a chance that this can fuck up. Missing body parts, 2.1%. This doesn't completely reconstitute him. Just allows him to be resurrected. Did we get away with it? I think we have. Welcome back, Pierre. Let's assign you an armor rack and get that shit swapped out, friend. Um, oh, no, nobody. Well, I guess this was uh, Ops's armor rack or something like that. Uh, let's give that to P Pierre. We can't. Wait. Hang on. Excuse me. I don't care about... Stop that. Uh, yeah, we can't give one to Pierre yet. Okay. I guess he needs rescuing first. Ah, there we go. Boom. All right. Pierre is back with us. Welcome. And you were our cook, weren't you? Yes. Look at that. 13.44 in cooking. Thank God. Thank God he returns. We also need to give Sharamus' jobs back too. So we've lost some people, but we've gained back mighty warriors from our past that have been obviously incredibly necessary right now. Get rid of those. Um, Warden, unnecessary. Uh, handling animals. I guess Sharamus can do that. He can't really do much else, can he? Um, oh, I remember. We just sat around fishing all day. That explains why we barely got any fish in the meantime. Uh, plant cutting is fine. You are set to cook, butcher, top priority. And then handle train. Oh, we could have that priority two, I guess. Let's just put a priority three and have him also help out with the crops here. Because we've got a lot of crops still. Um, fishing, I'm going to drop back on as a low priority thing. Because it's not too bad. Um, what else do we want you to do here? Let's get you helping out with the crops. Let's get you obviously on the plant cutting as well. And besides that, you are good. I'm going to take them all entirely off of Fall and Clean. It's unnecessary when we've got these robots. I never see them hauling or cleaning. Uh, and in fact, I think the hauling bots have so lot to do. Yeah, they're all just in standby mode. And when something does happen, they're just immediately on it. So it's it's fairly unnecessary. To be honest, I kind of went a little bit overkill. We got five hauling bots. We really didn't need it. I kind of wasted some steel on that. Speaking of wasting steel. Ah, oh, shit. I added small sculptures on as well. So we could decorate their bedrooms with them. Forgot to take off steel. Damn it. Um, to be honest, we're not really giving him much to work with though, are we? Uh, you can make it out of silver. That's fine. It doesn't use up much. 38, so we'll use like 380 silver per statue. That's fine by me. Don't use steel, though. That's that's not cash money. See what this trade ship has very quickly as well before our actual traders turn up. So someone pointed out yesterday as well, and that's completely my bad, that there was a trader selling iron beetles, iron husk beetles, and I completely missed it. I, was, I, I just wasn't even looking for it, to be honest with you. Um... What have we got then? We've still got Goat the Goat. Uh, Ground Runners. Yeah, obviously we haven't got many of those left. Now we can sell some of these Tetragenic Originators. Seeing as I don't particularly want that many. Um, we've got a lot of hay. We could probably cut down on our on our hay harvest somewhat there. Um, got a ridiculous amount of wheat grain. I've got to sell some wheat here. 5,000 wheat. 
It's not worth very much, but we might as well uh, we buy some cocoa or coffee instead. Or we could buy psychoid and work on those zoom earlier. Alternatively, we could just buy some food, I guess. What the hell is sorghum? I have no idea what sorghum is. Never heard of that before. Oh, well. Um, tomato sugar beets. We could buy some onions. I, uh, yeah. Peaches, pineapples, fruits. Just just kind of get some variation here. At least until we get our cook back up on his feet. Probably couldn't hurt. Fine. I'll buy some of those from me. Oh, what? Addiction to caffeine? How? Oh, because we... Right. Oh, bollocks. From the trader that died. They dropped 82 coffee. I didn't realize they could get so quickly addicted to caffeine. Um, how How is that so fast? Come on. <laughs> I drink four pints of tea a day. I, I'm not addicted to caffeine. I just can't do my videos until I've had until I've had my third cup. What do you mean about that? Hang on. What does that even do for us? Caffeine addiction. Um, God knows. Ca caffeine addiction does what? Caffeine addiction. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, that's exactly the right frame of mind. I like that. What is that? Overheat energy supply causes a detonation. Oh, that's for the droid. Right, okay. I wonder who I apparently strapped a bomb to, and then I realized, of course, it's got to be the droid, isn't it? I thought that was Pierre then. Sorry, Edward Crosby. I'm just being a racist. How long till this guy's back up on it? Oh, he's got muscle parasites too? Since when? What? Do you the messages? Oh, for God's sake. I didn't even notice that. Fear, Pierre, and droid Zia. The worker bot. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> Imagine that you come back to life and the first thing you're immediately struck down with muscle parasites. So the cyber upgrade project is in full swing now. I've actually forced Rose to, to get the fuck on with it because she was really dragging her heels with it. How are we looking right now? So stone skin gland. We've got the two mecha tentacles. We've got the barnic spine. We've got the two flashlights. What else are we waiting for? Rose, where the fuck have you gone? I was doing cucumber vine. Operate on Sharamus, damn it. <laughs> Why is she doing that? Rose, doctor, surgeon, top priority. Maybe it's because he's already ill. Maybe they don't operate on them if they're... Well, he's not already ill. He's just got... An... He's just anesthetized. That doesn't stack up, does it? They haven't, like, made a gameplay change where if you over-anesthetize someone, they'll, they'll drop down dead. I certainly hope not. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Grand... Grandmother of fear, pain, and... Oh, the mother-in-law of Delta. This is up. His mother is here. I had to tell her the bad news, I'm afraid. Your son decided to go AWOL. Left the colony for absolutely no reason at all. Okay, um... So wait for him to get a little bit closer just in case we buy anything worthwhile. Oh, don't forget light like clockwork as well. Every time we've had a trader turn up to the base, we have had a raid. So, well, those wild ground runners, hello. I think we might... We could, we could afford to get a few more, especially if we're going to keep strip mining. Poor Halitos. I'm going to make him some mining arms. I feel like he actually needs some mining arms, given that he's been doing basically nothing but mining his entire time since he's been here. Um... Where do we make those? M -m -m -mine mining arms. Mining arms. Mining arms. A bionic. No, 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 no. Where did we make those before? M mining arms? What's another? I feel like I'm going mad here. Where did we make the uh, drill arm? That's what it was called. Where the hell did we make that beforehand? It's not. I'm going to assume it's not here. Assume it's not here. I, I feel like I'm losing my mind. I need to Google this. Can be made at the machining table for 60 steel and 8 components after specialized limbs have been researched. Machining table. Machining table. Uh, <laughs> I am going insane. It's not here. What? As, as the research research? Hang on, hang on. Spe specialized. Did we never research specialized? We never researched speci specialized limbs. I guess we bought it from a trade ship. Oh my god, you need tech prints for it. Oh, well, that explains a lot. Good lord. I didn't realize that we didn't craft it. Right, okay, well, luckily we've got an exotic goods trader, so if we want some bionics, these guys actually might hold the uh, hold the keys to the kingdom there. Why is that still on the floor? Is anyone ever going to move that? Not the room matters too much. Right, Delta, let's see what they've got. Trade with... Okay. Um, Advanced components, yeah, I'm in. Give me all of those. Regular components we got 40 of, so I don't think we really need any more of those. They sell one of those big old Macarena drafts. Not interested. Um, look, cybernetic organism, what is that? Unlocks Orion cornea, Aurum, black pearl, compression jaw. Oh my god, this is actually one of what we need. Holy shit. Okay, repulse technology, give me that. Uh, side trainer is a bit pointless because, of course, we don't actually have any psychic amplifiers still. Um, oh, they've actually got... 
Okay, sell the mecha tentacles. They're crap. We don't want them. I'm actually going to keep the mutant stuff, even though they're not useful at all, just because they make nice replacement limbs in a pinch. If we're desperate, we can swap them out. Um, immuno enhancer, give me that. Energy link. I don't know what it does. Uh, global work speed plus 10%. Max hit point. What is this? Is this for? Chain spine made of titanium. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that. That sounds awesome. Okay. Charge rocket launcher. I assume that's one use, right? Yeah, fires a single anti-grain shell. Not interested. What else you got for me? Um, we'll sell those off because we're never going to use them. Telescope we've already got, haven't we? We've got haulers, which we don't really need. Yeah, this was worthwhile. I think we need to call in as many exotic ghost traders as we can manage because these guys also have a chance of obviously selling steel anyway, as far as I know. Um, because one medicine is a bit pointless. But yeah, besides that, that, that's great. That's fantastic. Two tech prints. I know they're probably not going to allot the technology just by themselves. Probably need multiple copies. But that's a great start. Let's get Delta. No, no, Delta's already quite well trained. Oh, so is what's it? Fuck. Um, hmm. Have we got a backup researcher? You still gets knocked out a lot instead. Just in case anything happens to the other two. There we are. Uh, let's go ahead and apply those then. Why not? That power cup? What was that? Oh, it was the lamps going off. Right, I thought we'd lost all power to the grid then. Let's do it. This is big. Man, it's a shame that it's still going to take us a long time to get everything else. I don't think it's going to be enough to unlock it, is it? Boom. Tech print applied. Uh, oh, you complete the requirements. Repulsor technology. Oh, okay, let's go see what that's all about then. I have no idea what they could be. Maybe in addition for, like, androids? Repulsor technology. Uh... Oh, it's for shields. Right, okay. See, I was thinking like a repulsor lift, but instead it's actual fucking big old shield generators. That's incredible. That's like a really, really great thing to get. We used that during the Android series very briefly, as you might remember. And then this one, I mean, if we get the full unlock from this, this is going to be a game changer. Boom. Tech print applied. You can play the requirements. Oh, thank fucking God. Oh, that's so good. Okay, cybernetic organism. That's cool. Um... So cyber, cyber, <laughs> cyber, sorry, my, look, my microphone's in the way, you're gonna have to bear with me here. Cybernetic organism, where's that? Oh, so we need to finish neural networks first, and then we got that with 36,000 points. But those are the real end game stuff. That's as good as it's gonna get with regards to bionics. Holy shit, that's insane. So what of those bionics that we got then do we want to install on Sharamus? So energy links, um... Artificial chain spine made of titanium gives 10% work speed, 30 hit points, 25% oh, shield recharge rate. That would be good for Sharmus because he's going to get the mono sword back. Uh, I want to check that his current bionic spine, whether or not we can remove that first. I think it'll kill him, but I want to be careful. Um, bionic spine gives what? Nothing. It matches the performance of a biological spine. It's just a spine. So I actually shouldn't have made one of those at all. It's a bit of a waste of time, really. Um, okay, then. So, can we remove the spine without him dying? That's the question. I would love to know. Oh, fuck. Death chance on fail. 0%. Okay. Maybe we can take out his spine. I think I want to remove that one before installing the new one. Because when I installed the bionic legs over the mutant legs, we didn't get the mutant legs back. So, it couldn't hurt to try. Delta. Delta's pregnant. After Ops is gone. Oh, that's really tragic. Oh, I'll never know. Oh, it worked. Cool. Yeah, I thought it might. Uh, so, Bionic Spine is good. Then we need to make sure we install the Cyberlink one. Otherwise, he definitely can't move. Um, install Energy Link Spine and the Immuno Enhancer in the right kidney. Cool. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I mean, he's so, so good now that if he dies, he's still... I mean, he's always going to be top priority for the resurrection. The only way we couldn't resurrect him at this stage would be if his body were to burn away. Because everything else, we can we can restore his biological parts around the mechanical. He's got like this this entirely mechanical endoskeleton now, which is kind of cool. The next thing I want to do before we invest any more into Sharamus is, is basically to upgrade all of our workers. Somebody did point this out in the comment section as well. That it would make more sense to upgrade... Wow, it's a cool launch. Hello. Designed for use on battle droids. Ah, okay, fair enough. Uh, somebody pointed out that it would make more sense to start making bionic arms for our um, bionic arms or some of those drills or whatever it is for our workers... So that they can do their jobs more effectively. Obviously, if they can do their jobs more effectively, we can invest more into Sharamus. Particularly when this end game research... I mean, these cybernetic organisms seem insane. I have no idea how they intend on the player being able to do it in, uh, be able to do it in the base game. It just seems so incredibly, like, prohibitively expensive. But I mean, some of these enhancements that we've made for Sharamus already have basically taken us ages. Like, all the shit that we've jumped through to... All the hoops that we've jumped through to get... To get everything together for... Sharamus. 
God knows how you're supposed to do that without all of the modded stuff that we've already got. Why can't I install the eye? Uh, I can't see it on there at all. Zoom? There, I mean, it's on there. Maybe we'll just take a while to update because we put it straight into the tall shelves. Um, or maybe... Replacement. An ar enhanced artificial eye with biogel nerve link. Do we need something else, perhaps, to... Oh, also gives plus five mood? Wow. Damn, that's insane. Um, is there something else I need to do first, then? Because quite clearly, we can't install this. Stall energy link spine. It just hasn't updated yet. Um, yeah, I can't see anything that would prevent that. Oh, well. Maybe it's the mutant eyes. Maybe we need to take those out first. Either way, we've got some more taxes in. So what I'll do then is we'll go ahead and call these through. We'll use the tax we've got left over right now to invest back into the settlements. We'll use the tax to come through in this one to pay for some more tithes. I think we'll go back to tithing for a while just to be able to afford all of this crazy shit. But our new buildings are almost done. We've got, obviously, our taxes coming in. Very little time. So I'll go through and start enabling some tithes again. So I think we'll probably flop this one and um, basically the most profitable ones I'll turn back into tithe. There we go. Okay. And how's that looking? Very expensive. Making a profit of 1,200 silver. Yeah, that works out pretty well. That was still making a very small profit, but we are getting some more resources. Thank you for watching them. We'll leave that one here for today. The Orc Project at long last is coming to fruition. We got some really great stuff from that exotic trader. And more importantly... Two of the big endgame tech prints I was worried yesterday we wouldn't even be able to see in-game have been struck off. And that's fantastic. Even if you only get to look at that insane end uh, cybernetic, whatever it was called, the upgrade of the one we're currently researching, that's fine by me. I would cl class that one as a victory. Thank you to Orcs Wolf, Vacuous Backers, Chris, Average Gamer 419, Limpy George, Distorted Triangle, Anthony Gawley, The Potato Eater, Wilson and Tef, Scary Scurvy, Chicken Wang HD, Silkworm, Zazzy7211, Tom Terrier, 18... Slippy Nips, Bad Burrito 316, and Cyric 313 for their support. The Insanity Lovers on Patreon. Thank you guys for supporting the channel during the lockdown especially, where things are a little bit more difficult. Thank you as well to... Uh, sorry, someone's like got a fire going outside or something because I actually cannot breathe right now. What the fuck? Who's got a fire going at 4 a.m.? <laughs> oh no, I left the oven on. Thank you to Tempe, William H, Gray, Organized Confusion, Super 9089, Will Wade, Jason Sushu, Gabriel Van Ders, Jeebus Cross, Spirit085, Zega the Chaos King, Caron24, Chronic Blob, Empty Machine, and Strife for their support as well. I'm going to let some time tick, and I'll see you all tomorrow for, hopefully, when we've made a bit of decent chunk of progress into the Bionics.